uh, answer for your question you want me to uh, zoom through that so that you'll find what is inside each um, each star schema there Saurish to uh, have a close look at it look at it it is the sales fact table surrounded by five dimensional tables which is the customer product geography time and supplier we are going to talk about the fact tables dimension tables how to do a dimensional modeling when we uh, try to build a data warehouse for a retail sales business the first thing comparison of a data warehouse and an operational data store so this is actually uh, i added it because yesterday there was a question from uh, sayed or hilal that can you show us the difference between operational data and uh, data warehouse here here is what it is so that you can understand really and relate it uh, to to build a data warehouse a data warehouse is distinctly different from operational data store used and maintained by day day to date uh, operational systems so an operational data system is is maintained by day to day operation system or oh, sorry a data warehouse is maintained by a day to day operational system so it feeds day to day it won't have most current data so if you ask a data warehouse what was the uh, the a transaction made by uh, ganesh batula in last one hour a data warehouse cannot answer an operational system can answer so data warehouse is not simply an access wrapper for operational data where data is simply dumped into tables for direct access among the different so what we are telling is a data warehouse is not simply dumping data that is where we had the yesterday's and today's session right it is not just about moving data from source to target you will have to model it properly you will have to cleanse it transform it standardize it uh, consolidate it before you move it into data warehouse and also model it the modeling is the source schema is in different uh, normalized form whereas the target schema is in a uh, denormalized form that's where you are trying to uh, uh, put the data into data warehouse as so among the differences let us go and see what are the differences we have operational data on left hand side and data uh, dw data on right hand side so this is more application oriented whereas dw is subject oriented what is application oriented and what is subject oriented an application can have more than one subject an application ca can provide answer to more than one uh, one uh, uh, business requirement so if you look at an application icici banking banking site it is an application it can provide answer to the customer and also to the clerk to the teller who is looking at it and also it can provide an answer to an hr operations or a customer service person but when you transform it into a data warehouse you not do all at once mostly you will say the highest priority is the finance matter in it so it is data warehouse is subject oriented and operational data is very detailed whereas data warehouse is summarized otherwise you can call it as a refined one operational data store serves the clerical community so it is more for the teller uh, to do his regular transactions whereas data warehouse serves the managerial community where it is going to maintain a highest level of uh, of summary wherein the business user wants to use the data for his support for a decision making uh, process so operational data store can be updated any time data warehouse there is is not updated so in generally when we say not updated there is uh, actually uh, uh, two meanings in it if they maintain the history then they are not going to update if they don't maintain the history then there are updates that that is a small limitation we'll talk about it when we go into slowly changing dimensions operational data is run repetitively and non reflectively whereas this runs uh, heuristically uh, the terms are like that don't don't worry about the operational data store is more of a repetitive process every they keeps adding data every second it keeps uh, uh, adding data whereas uh, i mean i have been not even very clear about what and heuristically is so forget about that so an operational data store requirements for process and processing under, understood before initial development so it is the requirements has to be understood before you actually build the application whereas data warehouses requirements for processing not completely understood before development i mean 
data warehousing is an ongoing process whereas the operational system you cannot say uh, i won't support the customer in so and so way you'll have to think about the customer in all the ways and design the system whereas data warehouse is kind of your play area if you want to add a dimension if you wanted to make a change it is very easy in data warehouse environment but operational system if you want to make a small change you will have to down the entire server to make that happen so you must be very pretty carefully uh, designing the uh, operational data store uh, data uh, uh, operational data system than a, a data warehouse so it is compatible with software development life cycle a transaction system if you are a software engineer if you follow the software engineering methodology it has a software development life cycle from planning to implementation phase whereas data warehouse is completely different life cycle the data warehousing is more of a redundant process it is not a one time thing first you go get the sample data assume and build it and later uh, things keep changing business our requirements keep changing you'll have to keep on adding things so it is not it is not going to fit into the normal software development life cycle whereas it fits into something like a data warehouse development life cycle which is a little bit different because it is a redundant process we are going to look into it how is it different so the next one let us compare and contrast in more ways uh, on this uh, uh, operational data and data warehouse data so this is performance sensitive immediate response required when entering a transaction so uh, if you go to a bank the transaction committed you'll see it on your book or or online that is more current whereas data warehouse performance relaxed immediate uh, immediacy is not required i mean you don't get the transaction as of when when uh, when it is required it is more of a report so the report can take 5 minutes to run or 3 minutes to run at least 1 minute to run at, at if not even if not 4 to 5 minutes it takes at least 30 seconds or 1 minute whereas online transaction processing the moment you uh, you just uh, touch the enter the record is committed and it has to display in every system so operational data accessed a unit at a time limited number of data elements for a single record so if you look at a uh, customer transaction you will not have every information about the customer in a transaction all you will have is an account number the date with you, which you deposited money or which you withdrawn money and in which banking center you did it mostly the much of detail is in the transaction you will not have the customer detail his name his history his age no if you want that you will have to separately look into a different server or different place whereas here it is accessed as a set a, set at a time many records are many data elements so here we are talking of a dimensional model if you pull out a, a small record about a customer his trends in past 3 years what is his history his credit scores everything can be monitored from a data warehouse and you can slice and dice the same customer information you can look him from his age perspective income perspective region perspective A, a, any anything surrounded uh, to him so uh, it is more of uh, of more than one record uh, of data in a data warehouse so this is more on control of up, uh, control of update a major concern in terms of ownership so here in the source system uh, the updates is controlled by uh, an ownership uh, why why they say is if you are trying to update a customer it is not going to be an easy thing to update a uh, uh, a customer information like let us say you have put a wrong transaction saying a customer has withdrawn for 50000 uh, rupees you cannot go and uh, nullify it very easily you need one more administrator to accept that or a manager to revert the process and then uh, get that out but this control uh, the updates are not uh, not a big issue you can always uh, do the updates because it is uh, your data warehouse environment and left hand side is high availability and this is relaxed availability managed in its entirety managed by subsets non redundant data whereas redundant is a fact of life so in data warehouse there can be redundant data still the reason is you maintain a little bit of history so you will always come up with the redundant data the source uh, uh, the operational data so the operational uh, database is more static structure variable content 
so the structure of the database is not going to change but the data in it is going to change whereas the right hand side it is a flexible structure the structure is always going to change if you have a new dimension you can add it if you want to degenerate a dimension you can do it if you want it to uh, add one more junk dimension or a make it as a conform dimension is all up to you you can keep changing the model so left hand side small amount of data used in a process it is very single transaction about one customer whereas the right hand side is a large amount of data used in process a query time a written time is going to be uh, too uh, too huge when compared to the source systems here you are trying to analyze the customer trends you are not trying to do one transaction with the customer so this is all about the operational data versus the data uh, the data uh, warehouse data so is, is that okay clear for you guys so identify and analyze existing information capabilities identify from key users the significant business questions and key metrics that uh, that the target users are looking for and uh, group them regard as most important requirements for the information like yesterday when i was talking about relocating from a home to home i was telling you right you will have to group your things you you will have to say these are priorities these are important taking your jewelry is important taking your money box is important than anything else later on comes the only the plunger and the broomstick those are the last things so you'll have to gather information prioritize and look on the business way of of it not uh, the regular way so decompose these metrics into their component parts with specific definitions so you're going to uh, break down them into uh, like uh, subject areas though uh, your source system has uh, information which uh, which pertains to finance which can answer for hr and also for the uh, for for the uh, operational or retail business you are going to uh, separate them into each component and uh, you are going to be very specific on the definition map the component parts to the information model and system of record system of record that is important guys what is a system of record we'll have to talk about it a little bit when you try to build a data warehouse that is the first uh, question they keep asking system of record system of record is nothing but if you have your customer information in more than one legacy systems you are going to be very deterministic which system you want to use as a system of record there can be the the, the customer be available in all the three systems doesn't matter but you will have to understand which is the better way which has the uh, enough information which is more clean which is more latest you get the data from that informational model so you call that as a system of record so you'll have to identify that before you move data into data warehouse now dimensional modeling vocabulary you need to understand the terminology and vocabulary of a dimensional modeling before you uh, you uh, uh, try to design a data warehouse or or talk to uh, people in the uh, uh, in the terms of data warehouse so understand this fact table this is the most important thing guys why are we building this uh, data warehouse is yes. the fact we wanted to understand the fact in the data so a fact table is a primary table in the dimensional model where the numerical performance measurements of a business are stored that is the fact table so let me just tell you what is a fact the fact is that krishna went to spencers and bought a beer that is a fact but data warehouse will not store it in the same way krishna is already existing in the data warehouse he is my uh, very uh, old customer the fact is he made a transaction that is only the fact today he bought 20 beers that is my transaction that is the money making thing for me I am not bothered if Krishna bought it or someone else bought it. I want the transaction.